pasa, gente? Lady Unicorn aquí. Estamos otra vez en Agatha Christie. The first cases. <coughs> Uy, perdona que la mierda todo no se me va. Bueno, vamos a hacer un poquito de, ¿cómo se dice? Bueno, en, en, en español no me acuerdo cómo se dice. En inglés, un recap, ¿no? De lo que había pasado. Básicamente, estamos investigando que alguien ha robado un bracelete, ¿vale? Un bracelet. Entonces, hablamos con la sirvienta. La sirvienta nos dijo <coughs> que no sabe quién ha sido. Eh, también me enteré que se había liado con el jardinero. <risa> se cree que soy tonta, pero vamos, de tonta no tengo nada. Entonces, <coughs> perdón, eh, quedamos en que teníamos que hablar con la dueña de la casa. <coughs> Musiquillo. Entonces vamos, vamos a hablar con la dueña, espera un momento, con esta, esta muchachita, la que parece que no parte un plato, pero se lió con el jardinero, ¿me entiendes? <coughs> Como las novelas. Como las novelas. Así que, venga, vamos a hablar. A ver, ¿por qué me pone que tiene algo ahí si no hay nada ahí? Ve el perfil. Ah, vale. Secreto, lo secreto es que se, que se ha liado con el, con el jardinero, el punto. Venga, vamos a hablar con, con esta mujer. ¿Quién eres? No eres el comandante oficial que me pedí. No, dear madame, I am Officer Hercule Poirot. I can assure you that uh... This will simply not do. I sent Elizabeth to bring me a competent lawman. And that is what she has brought, madame. Now, I would like to continue my investigation. You understand correctly. It is my daughter's bracelet. It is a rather expensive piece. Valiente cara de siesta que tiene hija. And valuable <coughs> to your daughter, no doubt. It was a gift. Yes, it was from her late father, my husband, the Viscount. And it has not gone missing. It was stolen. I do not believe so. I know so. It was Florette, the maid servant. I knew I could not trust her. And why is that? Because I don't. I do not need to explain myself any further, especially to a measly officer. Oh, qué asco de tía. Don't be ridiculous. I have told you who is guilty. If there had been a break-in, surely it would be your job to stop them. If it was the case, of course, madame. Although I cannot predict a burglar's movement. Perhaps then you have proved me right, and you aren't the competent officer I require. Seguro. Merci, madame. You have been most helpful. <laughs> Una mierda, pero bueno. <laughs> Vamos a ver. <coughs> Cada vez que conozca una persona nueva, desbloqueará su perfil de personaje. Ahora, vale, sí, ya me he dado cuenta. Ahora sí, esa manía esta. Bueno, vamos a ir mira por ahí. Eso digo yo. Pero... No me da todo aquí abajo antes. <coughs> Uy, no me da todo. Oh. Hmm. 
Será del, jard del jardinero. <risa> Different approach if I am to uncover. <coughs> I must act on que te calle, no vayamos a empezar, eh. No vayamos a empezar. Vamos a con esta mujer. Really, officer, you are wasting both your time and mine. And what is your point? May I ask of the subject? You may not. Honestly, your prying is getting on my last nerve. Only if you are prepared to take Florette away. It is an offense to incarcerate someone without suitable proof of misdeeds. Que I asco. must question Mademoiselle Florette que to get her tío. version of events. <coughs> if you will not do your duty and lock her up, then I must. She shall remain there. Merci, madame. You have been... Oh, no, Métase, puñeta. Pero esto era de Romeo y Julieta. Magnífico. ¿Ve? <ríe> ¡Qué lista soy! te queda ahí de antipática de qué La hija que otra antipática como la madre de algo más para What do you think you're doing in here? Who let you in? Mademoiselle Angeline, I presume. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Officer Hercule Poirot. An officer of the law? But what are you doing here? Don't you need to be chasing down the burglar? Your bracelet has gone missing. It is only correct. I speak with all members of the house and investigate the scene of the crime. Ah, if we must. Merci. I will attempt to take up as little of your time as possible. Some rat stole my bracelet this morning. Even though it's clear someone has broken in, Maman refused to listen and blamed Florette. You sound very convinced it was taken by someone from outside of the house. My window was open when I returned. How else can you explain that? <coughs> It is of great value. Monet was no object to father. It was a gift from your father. I can only assume it holds great value to you also. Of course it does. What a silly thing to say. It's a good thing Maman had it insured with the others. It must have been while I was down at breakfast with Elizabeth. She was with me all morning. <laughs> Mademoiselle Elizabeth was with you until you discovered the bracelet was missing? She was. She woke me up later than usual. I washed and dressed, and we went down to the lounge for breakfast. 
You have been of great help to my investigation, mademoiselle. I will do everything I can to find the culprit and return your bracelet. <coughs> I'm up. Claro, el padre. Yo como está en español, a mí todas las cosas no sé ni lo que son. Eso es todo que va, eso lo han hecho para que piense que han, que han venido afuera. The further the criminal goes with my bracelet, but is one bracelet not enough? I have checked everywhere. You can ask Elizabeth if you don't believe me. It is only my bracelet that is missing. As I have stated, it is my duty to speak with every member of the house, and I would not want to have discovered a further missing piece later. You have been of great help. To I cannot see the logic in this. Porque si no, no vamos a quedar aquí cogido otra vez. Es que es difícil, es difícil. Es difícil. Hay que pensar mucho, es muy temprano. Mademoiselle Elizabeth, I hope you are feeling less distressed now. I can assure you I shall find the guilty party and the bracelet. Thank you, officer. Yes. All I want is for Florette to be heard. Bien sûr. Rest assured she will get the fair trial she deserves. <coughs> of course. When I left, Madame was with Florette in there. Surely she would not have locked her in. It must have been an accident. Hey, hombre. <laughs> Madame Van den Bosch should not be deciding her fate. Would you grant me access to speak with her? I would, sir, but I don't have the key. There is a spare somewhere, though. Oh, how awful the thought of her locked in there. Do you have any thoughts as to where I may find it? I'm sorry. Madame does not trust the staff with such knowledge, even me. Although I did overhear her once say it was hidden somewhere, close to her heart. Whatever that means. Uh, algo con el marido, seguro. Now I think of it, I don't recall seeing her memento tin. She holds her keepsakes from her father and other gifts or tokens in it. She has such a wonderful collection. She's very lucky. She normally keeps it close, but I didn't see it this morning. Merci, mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. <coughs> The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Mm -hmm. 
Tidak ada yang mau berlakon <coughs> Mira, está bien. Voy a hablar con esta. Voy a hablar con esta. Que hay que pensar mucho, ¿sabes? No es tan fácil como parece. Mira, yo oye, con mis poderes de deducción, deducí que la sirvienta se estaba liando con el jardinero. <coughs> Para que después digan que yo soy tonta. Here, the the que te calle. No te creo para. Uh, sorry, it is your father that is the subject. Isn't he handsome? I remember watching him sit for it. He kept looking across and smiling at me. <laughs> the artist was getting awfully angry at him. Mamá no quiere hablar con él. Dice que es demasiado difícil, pero parece más como que no le importa si está muerto. Estoy seguro que no es el caso. Debe haber sido muy difícil para ella, para ambos. Lo amo cada día. Siempre sabía cómo poner una sonrisa en mi cara. Recuerdo cómo mucho divertido tendríamos todos tres de nosotros. En el verano, el padre y yo jugábamos a hacer un poco de hide y seek mientras mamá leía. Ella siempre me ayudaba cuando leía. Mamá read. She always helped me though whenever it was his turn to hide. I would stand in the gazebo, cover my eyes and count, and when I turned, he was nowhere to be seen. Maman would lower her book and flash a look towards his hiding spot. After I found him, he clapped and cheered as though I had won a gold medal. When I was hiding, it didn't matter where I was. He could never find me. I always thought I, I was an expert hider, but when I think back now, I know he was letting me win. He always said my smile was prize enough for him. Mm -hmm. He always knew just what to say. I am sure he would want you to be smiling today, even under such circumstances. You have been of great help to my investigation, mademoiselle. <coughs> I will do everything I can to find the culp. Uh, uh. <coughs> oh, say a lucky guess. I would say a moment of genius. <coughs> What a revelation! Hablar con Elizabeth. Vale. Vamos a para atrás. Venga, para adelante, para atrás. Para adelante, para atrás. Para adelante, para atrás. Ya nos vamos a hablar con Elizabeth y después lo dejamos hoy. Mañana seguimos con la parte 2, porque si no se hace muy largo. Vamos a ver qué dice esta mujer la que se lió con el jardinero. Certainly, officer. Madame is the one with the refined taste. Angeline and I are much more partial to a simple love story. Romeo and Juliet, the most famous of love stories. I do enjoy it so. The passion, the romance. It gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. Madame has a copy upstairs in the main hall. Chatta. Merci, mademoiselle. Your assistance. Mea. 
Bueno, vamos a coger el libro y ya está. Romeo y Julieta. Aquí está la llave. Eh, bueno, pues lo vamos a dejar ahí. Y mañana vamos a hablar con Floret, la pobre. Que la han acusado de hacer todas esas cosas. ¿Vale, gente? Espero que os haya gustado el episodio de hoy. Ya sabes, si os gusta, deja un like, subscribe. Y a cuidarse.